Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today I wish to speak about one verse from Psalm 30. We shall read the Hebrew version and translate it to English. Mizmo Shir Chanukat Habayit Le David A psalm, a song at the dedication of the house of David. As you might figure, the Hebrew is a bit different. Let's read it again and look into it slowly. Mizmor Shir Chanukat Habayit Le David. Mizmor is a poem. Shir is a song. Chanukat Habayit is the initiation of the house or of the home to David. Le David. The question is, does this poem or song refers to a physical house, like a house of stone, a house of wood, a house of clay, or this uh, psalms refer to another kind of house. Let's look into this carefully. Bait, home or house, is written in three letters. Bet, Yod, Taf. Bet is the second letter and its volume is 2. Yod is the tenth letter and its volume is 10. And Taf is the last letter and its volume is 400. So home or house has an expression of all the duality that we can experience in this life from the first letter Bet, of which the Bible starts with, Bereshit, until the last letter Taf, which is 400. And in between the bed and the Taf, there is the letter Yod, the covenant between man and God. So the whole relation between human and God can be felt or sensed in the feeling of home. And the home is, is not from bricks or from wood. The home in this psalm is where the soul dwells. Our body is bait, a home or a house for the soul. And the soul in this verse is David. All human beings together are one soul. And the, and the name of this soul is David. How did we reach this conclusion? Let's look into the name David. The name David is written in three letters. Dalet, Vav, Dalet. The volume of the name David is 14. For Dalet is 4, Vav is 6, together they create 10. And another Dalet, which is 4, create the volume of 14. 14 is 1, 2, 4. Or in Hebrew, 14 is Yad. 10 is Yod, and Dalet is 4, so human hand, Yad. Yad. David equals Yad, hand. And... The human soul is the one who escorts us here and walk hand in hand with us. Though we most of the time don't feel it or don't sense it or do not recognize it. Another look of this verse in Hebrew shows this interesting picture. If we take each first letter of the four first words that starts this psalm, we have the following word. Mizmor, 
we take the mem, this is the first letter. Shir, we take the shin, this is the first letter. Chanukat, initiation, chet is the first letter. And habayit, the home or the house, is he. So we have now four letters. Mem, shin, chet, he. And those letters create the word mishcha. Mishcha. Mishcha or shemena mishcha, the anointed oil. So, why do we say these psalms? By saying these psalms, those good words, we are like anointing the house, our body, with good words. It's like oil. And we are preparing this house that the soul could dwell inside. So again, Mem, Shin, Chet, He, create the word Mishcha, anointing oil. Also, those four letters in different order create the word Simcha, Simcha, which means happiness. So, this was our little conversation about Psalms 30. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kultuv and Shalom.